Howdy y'all. You join me today at a V3 supercharger doing an unexpected, and the kiddo, an unexpected uh, charging test. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you this before I step out of the car to plug in, but we arrived here with the whopping 4%, which was exciting. Actually, an hour, spent an hour and a half to drive 65 miles, got an average energy of 267 um, watt hours per mile. And not only that, look at this. This was after we got on the, uh, on the highway but 238, took some back roads, wanted to get here, uh, or needed to make it to the supercharger to, to, to top up, uh, but average the last 30 miles was 249 watt hours, which is pretty awesome. Um, the specs for this vehicle are a 2014 Model S P85, so real wheel drive only, with the original battery pack, the uh, rear drive unit was actually replaced about six, seven months ago under warranty. Uh, 102,324 miles. And um, uh, I did drive with no AC. We used the uh, sunroof and the windows on. But I am going to go ahead and turn this on because what I'm going to be doing today is a uh, out of spec style. 10% uh, challenge. So I'm going to top up uh, up to 10%, let the car sit for a bit, and then run a 10% challenge. One thing I will be doing differently is I'm not going to be running this 10% challenge at 100% just due to uh, not wanting to be pulled over. The state troopers are out in force. But are you going to do it, kiddo? Um, but the state troopers are out in force. But um, I did want to record this because I have a feeling this is going to charge pretty rapidly up to 10% um, because uh, my experience with this car, even with this um, battery pack, which is nerfed, uh, when it's below 10%, it charges wonderfully. Uh, we're shooting up to 100 and looks like 130, 130 kilowatts and it starts ramping down. So I'm gonna get this thing up to about 11%, let, unplug it, let it sit and bleed off, and then we'll run this 10% challenge. Bye. Yeah, 120, so we're, this is not half bad. All right, welcome back. So did a quick hop, skip, and a jump over uh, from 4% to uh, 10%. I went inside the sheets, used the restroom, and now we're ready to run this here test. So let's see, we're gonna need the timer, which I've got running on my iPad. See, we're still at 10%. I'm gonna leave, cannot, obviously can't turn, keep on. But what I will do is we're gonna go ahead and run this here test. One thing about this, that'll work. And we'll start the timer when the light turns green. Ready? And go. All right, 15 minutes. And we're gonna see how she charges. So it looks like we're going straight up to 76, 106, 123 kilowatt hour and or kilowatts and now we're ramping down 116 115 at 11 percent already so that is actually not that bad as far as charging rates go so let's go ahead we are just 40 seconds in already at one kilowatt hour or added we're still above 100 kilowatts, so and at 12 percent. So, honestly, I'm pretty pleased with. I, I think this vehicle is going to do well. Now, so apologies for the smudgy 
the fingerprint smudge is on the screen there. We're at 11, just under 12 minutes left, and we've already um, gone down below 100 kilowatts. We're at 95, just ticked to 95, but we're at 17%. So um, let's. I'm going to go ahead and do some cleaning up in the car here as we wait for this to finish up, and we'll go ahead and uh, check in with, at about five minutes left. I don't have a good uh, light for this car, but um, one thing that I do think this vehicle would do even better, and I know it does better, is it'll charge even better, as you saw, at below 10%. So honestly, a 5% 15 minute challenge would be even better. Um, we blew through, in about three minutes, we blew through 6% of charge. Um, that's probably something I'm gonna try and do in the future. Uh, so, I, you know, I, again, because I live here in Virginia, uh, especially central Virginia, right where there's state trooper barracks all through wherever I'm, I live, um, and I passed several that had already stopped a bunch of folks, I'm going to try and keep this at the speed limit. Unfortunately, that is between 60, 65 miles an hour. Um, just where I'm at, there's no interstate highways, it's state, uh, it's U.S. highways, uh, and so the speed limit runs, runs, uh, that along, runs 60 to 65 miles an hour. There's some stretches you probably could, could do 70, but we'll see how we go through here. All right, let's see where we're at with this charge. Okay, so a little about just under six and a half minutes left in the charge. We're at 82 kilowatts, and I'm just going to go over some of my energy. So as you can see here, the last 65 miles uh, driving here was 267 watt hours per mile. I doubt that I will get uh, as such good a charge as that. But we're going to go ahead and just to be clear, reset uh, my driving around. This is since basically since picking the car up. Um, my lifetime so the car was reset when I purchased it so just put on two and a quarter thousand miles uh, on this vehicle already in the last couple of weeks and a thousand miles pretty much since uh, since returning back from the trip so we're going to call this the 10% um, Virginia. Challenge. Just because, I want to be clear, I'm not going to be uh, speeding, uh, doing any excessive speeding. So we'll reset this counter. And now we're back at zero. Now, let's see, we are just at under five minutes left. Set, we've tapered down to 78 kilowatts and we've already added 14 kilowatt hours and we're at 30%. That's impressive uh, in a relatively short amount of time. I know this does not charge anywhere as nice as the, even um, my wife has a, uh, 2016 Model X 90D. Compared to the 90D, this is not good. Um, and then compared to the current vehicles, uh, it's incomparable. This is really bad. But uh, one of the things I really wanted to compare is the uh, 4680 Model Y. Looking at the charge curve that uh, Brandon Flash uh, posted his charge curves for his three uh for his three charges on that uh, looked really similar to mine, uh, surprisingly. And I've only had this car for a couple of weeks, but over the course of the road trip home, as well as, you know, just testing and using it as a daily driver, um, I've noticed that it charges, it looked very similar in style to these nerfed 85 kilowatt hour packs. And the story behind that, as far as I can tell, is about in 2019, Tesla, having realized that they were getting more warranty claims on these batteries than they wanted, um, nerfed the charging. They cut the uh, 
they nerfed the charging curve on these battery packs, the original 80, 85 kilowatt hour packs. Um, so it is what it is. I'd love to see if there was a way to unnerf them, um, but I would not do anything to void my battery warranty. So as there's still a few months left on it, so I'm going to use this battery normally and we'll see how um, see if there's any issues that pop up and hopefully they will pop up before the warranty is expired but we will see all right so as we roll down to the last few set few moments of this charge we're at 37 percent 70 kilowatt hours 19 70 kilowatts 19 kilowatt hours uh added 17 seconds left let's see if we can if we end up ticking over 38 percent and if i will go ahead and hit the stop charging button once that goes off so we're at 37 percent roll down to 68 kilowatts there it is stop charging so 19.506 um you energy used and we added um, up right there at 20 kilowatt hours. It just rolled over and just rolled over to 38%. So um, that means we're going to turn around right around. Uh, uh, I'll turn around in enough time to get back, but let's go ahead and get us unplugged. So let's go ahead and get us unplugged and start the drive here. Uh, hit keep on the dash cam. So we just added 20 kilowatt hour in 15 minutes. Not bad, not bad at all. So unfortunately I had to hop out of the car because I forgot to close the charge port because these 2014s, early 2014s do not have a automatic charge port door, uh, or at least an automatically closing charge port door. But here we are on the highway rolling right around the speed limit and uh, we'll see how this trip runs. So we are almost to the turnaround point. And you can see here speed has increased a bit because the speed limit and the road styles have uh, increased. We are currently at 28 miles, 9 kilowatt hours used, 332 watt hours per mile. So um, yeah, I think we're gonna definitely uh, should be ending somewhere close to about 55 miles in range. Oh, not here. Next exit is gonna be the turnaround exit. And we will see how this goes going forward. So I'm wondering if well, we should probably end up somewhere between 50 and 60 uh, miles usable low speed highway range uh, if, if that can be the best descriptor kilowatt hours used 328 watt hours per month and our current state of charge is 23 percent the loop. 
speed limit is not 45 here. It's 65. Alright, so we're now navigating to the supercharger, uh, back to the supercharger, and actually it appears that the estimate is going to be 12%, so I'm going to actually have to go past the supercharger uh, a few miles just to get down to 10. So we shall uh, go ahead and follow up as we get closer. All right, so we are one mile from the exit to the supercharger. We just rolled to 11% and currently at 57.8 miles. I'm thinking we might be able, might get up to 50. Nine. We will see, but I'll go past this. Currently planning on going past the exit, then we'll turn around to get the fill up. Right now, still at 11 percent, 58.2 miles. All right, let's see where we're at. There it is, 10 percent, 59.7 miles and 17.9 kilowatt hours used at a rate of uh, 299 watt hours per mile 102,384 miles on the odometer all right so that's great we're gonna go ahead and uh, i'll meet you finish this up back at the charger so there we are 59.7 miles on 15 minutes, 10% challenge. Really cool, nice day, Six, uh, 72 uh, degrees, it's now 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, warmed up battery, hour and a half drive right before, so um, yeah. Hope everyone uh, enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. Obviously not as good as the um, 4680 batteries but surprisingly close. Um, and, and again, I was traveling probably closer to an average of uh, 63, 64, 65 miles an hour over the course of the drive. Um, so again, not, com not directly comparable to 80 miles an hour, but hopefully informative. I do want to run this again when I get closer to uh, the actual interstates in central virginia uh which would be able to put around 70 miles an hour uh for that test maybe a little more uh but 70 miles an hour is the speed limit on those areas i also would love to try this in a states where the speed limit is much more realistic um but yeah like share subscribe hope this hope this was helpful toodles